So in this part of the series, we're going to actually be doing some of the code we need to actually shorten our links. So the first thing we need to do is whenever the user uh, clicks shorten link, we need to uh, send that to our database. So the way we're going to do that is we're just going to say if it's set post shorten, then we're going to um, just put a comment here. Insert link into our database. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use MySQLI prepared statements. So let's uh, create a variable called DB and we'll set it equal to new MySQLI. So we're creating a new instance of the MySQLI class uh, and we're going to uh, pass it some parameters. So we'll say localhost is the first parameter. That's the host of our database relative to our server. And since they're on the same server, we can just use localhost. Then we want our username and we can get that from our cPanel. So we just go to MySQL uh, databases and we scroll down. You can see uh, the database is Francis1 underscore min and the user is Francis1 underscore high code. So if we just uh, go up here, so we're going to put our username in. So we're going to say Francis1 underscore high code is the username. Then we're going to put in our password and we pasted it into this file. We've pasted that in there. And finally, we're going to um, put in our database name. So that is uh, Francis1 underscore min. So let's just upload this and see do we get an error. So go to our page again, we're going to refresh. We don't want to resend the data, it makes no difference at this point, but we'll just refresh and you can see we have no error. If there was an error, since this is a production environment, we would just see a white screen. Uh, but because there's no error, uh, then everything's working. So uh, now that we have our instance of our MySQLi class, we're going to prepare a MySQLi statement. So the way we do that is we say, uh, we create a variable to hold the uh, output of all this. So we're just going to say, call that result. And we'll call it, make it a string for now. Then what we'll do is we'll say result is equal to db. And to access a member of a class, we use the arrow operator in PHP. So we're, using, we're going to the db class and we're accessing uh, a function called prepare. And here what we're doing is we're passing the MySQL I um, query. So here we're going to say, oops, uh, insert into, and our table is called links. So we'll say insert into links values. And we have uh, three columns in our database. As you can see here, we have three. We have ID, URL, and title. So let's uh, put ID, URL, title. So for ID, we can leave it blank because it's uh, an auto-incremented value. And for uh, URL, that's what we're going to pass data to. So we're just going to put um, a question mark here. So notice there's no single quotes around it. It's just a question mark. Uh, that'll make more sense in a moment. And for uh, the actual link, we're just going to put test in for now. Okay, so what we can do now is we can delete this result variable from up here. We can just assign it directly here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say db bind param. So this is a function called bind param. And what it does is it binds parameters. So this all looks pretty weird if you're used to uh, MySQL non-prepared statements. So the reason that's unsecure is because a user, a malicious user, can insert um, code into your MySQL query that can give them access to your database. Uh, that's if you don't escape things properly. And escaping things is can be bad because it can end up with uh, your data getting all messed up and things. So the best uh, solution to this is to use prepared statements. So the reason prepared statements are more secure than non-prepared statements is because they send the query to the MySQL server in pieces. So the first thing they send is this query. But, they fill it, but every time we want to put a variable in, we put in question marks. So the question mark is sort of a placeholder for uh, the variable. And what happens when this gets sent to the server is it expects the parameters. So we need to send the parameters, but since we're sending them separately, we don't need to escape them because uh, this string and the parameters never actually mix. They never interact with each other. So the uh, an attacker never has an opportunity to insert malicious code into your 
uh, MySQL query. So uh, as I said, the uh, question mark is a placeholder for a variable or a parameter. Uh, so since it's a placeholder, we can't actually do anything without being told what the placeholder stands for. So that's what the bind param function does. It binds the uh, parameters to the query. So any word sees a question mark, it will replace that with whatever we tell it to in the bind param function. So this function takes two parameters. It takes uh, the first parameter tells what type of parameter it is. So um, to say that we're sending a string, we just put an s in here. And then we put a comma, and then to we pass the actual variable we want to send. So in this case, it's post under uh, post, and we want to get URL to shorten. And finally, all we have to do is say db execute, and this is it. So because we're breaking the query up into two separate pieces, whenever we execute the query, it doesn't matter what the user puts in here, whether it's malicious or not they won't be able to interact with this actual query above here. So they won't be able to insert malicious code into our query and mess up our database. So now what I'm going to do to see if that worked is I'm going to say echo uh, done. So let's refresh the page and let's put in a link. So I'll say howcode.org. So we got a white screen. That means we did something wrong. Um, Let's just check that it get inserted into the database. So it didn't, uh, there's zero rows returned. So the reason for the white screen was actually because uh, we need to just change this to result. So basically what, what uh, that means was we were just, we were trying to access DB bind param, when in reality it's actually kind of like accessing DB prepare and then saying this bind param and then putting the parameters on so we can actually chain them onto each other uh, but we're just leaving them on one line for the moment so let's just run this again let's just hope it works this time so let's refresh put in uh, hardcode.org it says done we got no errors we click browse and you can see it returned one row so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and i'll see you next time